You lied to me. You betrayed me. You made me believe that this thing was... that this affair with Donna was over. <sighs> Eric, I just sat here two minutes ago saying what a wonderful man you were. <laughs> You're so honest, so filled with integrity, so caring. It was just a charade. I thought that all our years together really did, in the long run, mean something to you. But you have just... You've just played me for a fool. Look, there's something I want to there say. There isn't anything that you could possibly say to me that would make it right. You never, never intended to work this marriage out, did you? Never. Everything that I dreamed and hoped for, you have just thrown it away. For what? For what? To be a naked old man shivering out on a window ledge in the middle of the night? Oh, my God, you've humiliated yourself. You've humiliated me, the children. <sighs> We've spent a lifetime, a lifetime building this business, this family. And in one night, you have made us the laughing stock of this town. Are you proud of yourself? You know, Stephanie, I think I actually am. Everything's different now. I've spent my whole adult life listening to you and worrying about what everybody else would think. Well, I don't care anymore. I don't care. I love Donna. The only regret I have is that you forced us to hide away from everybody as if we were ashamed of what we were doing. Well, I'm not ashamed. And I don't care who knows that. I don't care who sees that picture. That's the way I feel right now. I'm so tired of living with this axe over my head. Oh, marriage is over, Stephanie. I'm in love with Donna. And my future is with Donna. And you're just gonna have to accept it. that be swung with a suitcase in your hand. Stephanie, I bailed out over Hawaii. You know, I have to give it to you, Donna. You're an absolutely amazing liar. You're also one of the most selfish people I've ever met. <laughs> and as a result, your brother's going to go to prison. I have no idea what you're talking about. Really? Oh, I thought we had an arrangement. You'd leave my family alone and I would leave your family intact. But you couldn't keep it, could you? You just couldn't stay away from Eric. So, your brother's going to go to prison. Oh, you saw the picture of Eric in the newspaper on the ledge of my apartment. I'm, wow, the nerve of someone to doctor the photo. I, the paparazzi in this town are just horrible. You know, in a way, I was actually willing to put my life at risk for your family's happiness. Oh, Paul. This has nothing to do with my family's happiness, and you no, know No, 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 no. It was an arrangement that would have benefited everyone, but it doesn't matter now. Look, I'm not here to make any sort of judgments. I just came by to tell you what's going to happen. How can you be so cruel? I'm not the person that sacrificed her brother. Isn't this the young man that you said was the real father to you and your sisters, your protector all these years? That's exactly what he is. And this is the way you repay him? You sell him out? What was it? The money? The sex? The fame? Everything Eric had to offer was just too much to resist? Don't, don't you dare make our relationship out to be cheap because it isn't. 
We are in love. It has nothing to do with fame and fortune. Oh, well, whatever it is, is it worth the cost? No, please, Stephanie. Stephanie, please just don't, don't do this. When you go to see your brother in prison, and I'm sure you will, he'll know that you put him there. He'll never forget that. And I'm sure you'll never forget it.